This was Maya Gaudin's seventh attempt at qualifying for the drive, chip, and putt national finals, and the first time she made it through. That alone shows that she is resilient. But her story of resilience goes so much deeper than that. Kiri K. Dixon has the story. Rory, you first met Maya a few years ago, I think in Abu Dhabi. She was a 24 handicap then, seven years old, and now she's 12, and she's a scratch. She's done amazingly well over the last four or five years. You see this kind of thing all the time. World-famous golfer interacts publicly with a local junior. But this girl, Maya Godden, is far from ordinary. And so is her story. There you go. In the spring of 2010, a little girl was born into a dire situation in a remote village on the Kenyan border with Ethiopia. Her birth mom had died shortly after childbirth. No one was lactating in the village. It's not a place where you can go around the corner to a local market and get formula. So it got to a situation where she wasn't eating. Her birth father and uncles carried her on their backs 90 kilometers walking to the closest clinic and they really saved her life. That's when he decided he didn't have the means to care for her. And um, to me, that was the biggest, greatest act of unconditional love. Seven months later, the Gaudens adopted that baby, who they named Maya. In Ethiopia, her given name was Hiwat, in homage to all she went through so early on. They didn't expect Maya to live. And so they gave her this name, Hiwat, which can be loosely translated to life, but not just life, but really like the soul of living. And so Maya had this gift of, even though everybody had pretty much assumed she would not survive the night, the week, the month, she did. It's like the light of the soul, basically. And you can see that in Maya when she's golfing. I can't remember holding a club for the first time, but I remember when I first beat my dad. I remember that day very, very clearly. When she was seven years old, Maya won a skills contest. The prize? Getting to meet Rory McIlroy for the first time. The first time I met you in 2018, you hit it so pure. I was like, wow, <laughs> I was blown away. Whenever he comes back for tournaments, he makes an effort to see me again, and I appreciate that so much. I love this, I love it. In 2022, Maya added to her skills competition resume. In her seventh attempt, she finally qualified for the Drive, Chip, and Putt National Finals. I'll see you at Augusta. We are going to be putting on the 18th green. Do you have any tips for that green? The one thing I would say is it doesn't break quite as much as you think. So proud of you. I'll be there on the Sunday to cheer you on. <laughs> 